Hi, and welcome to this lightning lecture on using the iOS designer to create launch screens. My name is Kim, and if you ever need to get in contact with me, please feel free to shoot me an email at kim.philpots at xamarin.com or reach out to me via Twitter. So a launch screen is a mechanism to provide a placeholder image that iOS displays when your app starts up. And it gives the user the impression that your app is fast and responsive because it appears instantly and is quickly replaced by the first screen of your application. Now they do say never judge a book by its cover. However, the launch screen is going to be the first thing a user sees when they launch your application. So creating a compelling first experience can have a huge impact on your user's perception of the quality of your application. So we're pretty excited to ship full designer support for zip files in the Xamarin 4 release. You can edit and interact with zip files just like you already could with storyboard files and that includes support for designing zip launch screens. Now regardless of whether you use storyboards or zips, you can now add, design and create your launch screens inside Xamarin Studio or Visual Studio using the Xamarin Designer for iOS. So in this quick lightning lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create your own zip file for use as a launch screen that will handle scaling to different size screens and devices. So let's jump straight in and get going. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new project. So I'll go File New Solution. And what we want to create is an iOS application, a single view application. We'll select next and we'll give this a name. Now I'm going to use the name rocket app. You can use whatever name you'd like, but I'll, I'll call this one rocket app and select next. And I'm happy with that directory. So I'll go ahead and select create. All right. So now we have a new project here. I don't need that app delegate class, so I'll uh, I'll close that down. Now, what you'll notice is under the resources folder here, there's already a launch screen in here. So one's created for us by default. And we could go ahead and we can modify that one if we like, but what we might do is we might just create an entirely new one. So if I come up to my project and I right click on that and select add new file, Underneath the iOS file types, you see that we now have a launch screen. Okay, and that's going to create a universal launch screen zip file for us. So we'll go ahead and give that a name. Uh, I'll call it something imaginative like my launch screen and then select new. So what you see is that's added that into my project here. So if I double click on that, it will now open up in the storyboard editor or the zip editor, I should say. Okay, so here's this zip open. I'm just going to uh, just shrink that down a little bit and uh, just bring it to the center there. And you'll see that by default, it adds in a couple of labels for me. So I'll get rid of those. I can just select those and hit the delete key. Now what I want on the background here is a bit of a gradient. Okay, so I've got some uh, image resources, but I first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll search for image view over here and I'll grab an image view and I'll drag it onto my design surface here. And what I want to do is I want to have that occupy the full screen. So I'll just uh, resize that. And what you'll notice is that, you know, there's some resize guides as well as you drag this around. So that's very nice. Okay, and so there it is uh, occupying the full screen. I'll just go and add in those image resources. So I can right click on resources and say add files. And I've got my rocket logo and my gradient background images. I'll copy those files in. Okay, now with my image selected, I'll go to its properties and I'll change its image and we'll set that to be the gradient background. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that, that gradient background always fills the entire space. And so to do that, I'm going to set some constraints. So if I click on this again, the you'll notice that the resize handles 
will change to these constraint handles. So with the constraint handle selected, I'm just going to set a constraint for the top, bottom, left and right to make it resize dynamically. So when I grab that and slide it, you'll see that uh, some, some lines appear, a green dotted line, and that's basically where I can set my constraint to. So as I drag it over, you'll see that it will change to blue. So that's going to constrain that view to the, to the top there. I'll do the same with the, the right hand side here. And the left hand side. And the bottom here. So if we go and have a look at the properties window under layout, what we should see is we should see that we have four constraints set there. So that's going to resize nicely no matter what device we, we actually run this on. Now I'm going to go and uh, add another image in for our logo. So I'll select another image view here and drag it onto my design surface. And I might just resize this a, a little bit. Okay. And just make that centered and just a little bit up from the the vertical center. All right. So now I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll set the image. And I'll set that to be my, my rocket logo. And I'll set some constraints. So basically what I want for this one is I want it to be always centered horizontally. So I can grab that constraint handle in the center here and make that always appear uh, always horizontally centered. Likewise, I want to make it just above the, the center line. So I can pull that constraint down here and I want that height and width to say the same. So I can specify these two handles and lock in that height and width. And if we go and have a look at our constraints, we should see that we have that. We've got a vertical center, X, center Y, and we've got a fixed height and width. Fantastic. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a label and put that in here as well. So let's get that label and we'll put that down about, uh, about here. And I'll just resize that out. And then just set a few properties here. So first of all, we make it say rocket app, set it to be white and we'll up that font size to, I don't know, something like about 40 point. And I'll center the text there. So I wanna set some constraints on this. So what I'll do is I'll make this horizontal, horizontally centered. So I'll go and uh, do that there. I will make it vertically just a bit down from what we have there. And again, I'll go and set the, the width and height. Okay, so again, What I have is I've got four constraints there. Okay, the last thing I need to do is I actually need to set this storyboard as the launch screen. Or oh, sorry, this zip file as the launch screen, I should say. So I can do that through the info.plist file. So if I go and select that, and then I scroll down, you'll see that there's the launch screen. And underneath here, here's my launch screen. So I can specify that and that will make it the starting launch screen. And we'll save that. And let's just try it under a few different device sizes. So first of all, we'll try it underneath an iPhone 4S. Okay, we'll come up here, we'll select, make sure our iPhone 4S is selected. Hit the run button. Okay, and there's our splash screen on our iPhone 4S. Let's try it on a few different resolutions. So we'll come up here and we'll select a uh, 
iPhone 6s. Okay, and there was our, our launch screen, resize or success. And we'll try it as well on something like an iPad. And there we go. So there you go. Now we've seen how to create a launch screen using the new iOS designer to work with Zibs in Xamarin 4. Before we finish up, here's some additional resources you might find useful. First of all, if you're new to constraints and the new adaptive layout features of iOS 8, you might want to have a look at some of the Xamarin University classes that cover these topics, specifically iOS 300 and iOS 350. Also, you'll find that there's some excellent guides and tutorials available in the Xamarin documentation at the links on this slide. So thank you so much for watching this lightning lecture and hopefully you've seen some techniques that you can use to create compelling launch screens in your applications with the exciting new support for Zib editing in the Xamarin iOS designer. Now, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or post your questions onto the Xamarin forums. Until next time, take care and happy coding.